everyone welcome to a brand new video for those of you who are new there my name is Jess pleasure to meet you welcome to my weird side of this booktube world in today's video we are going to do a reading vlog technically I started it this past weekend but I didn't have too much reading going in it it's just a lot of excursions in Austin I am gonna roll that footage next but yeah I just had a very relaxing time with my husband and a friend on Saturday we went to a brewing company we went to the farmers market yesterday so we just kind of had a great like bonding experience especially since yesterday was our three-month wedding anniversary so super excited about that but Today, we are going to start another book, and I am super happy to tell you that it's The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. This is on my October TBR book, uh, bookshelf, and I'm just super excited. I've heard so many great things about this. If you don't know what this is, we follow Mariana, who is a therapist, and her niece, I believe, has a friend who ended up getting murdered on their campus, and Mariana is kind of thinking that she already knows who the murderer is, and it's the Greek tragedy professor who kind of just has won all of the hearts of the faculty and the students, especially women, and there's a secret society called the Maidens, which is a group of women, and she thinks he and this society have something to do with all the murders that have been happening on campus. So I'm super excited to start this book. I really think that this is so perfect going into it after reading The Turn of the Key. I kind of feel like it's the same vibes almost, or the vibes that I'm getting are just like, you know, all the spooky, cozy vibes. I definitely think I'm gonna get it from this book. So this is what we're going to read starting today. to mention that I feel like in this vlog I feel like it's gonna be very cozy very warm just because it's kind of how I've been feeling especially with the books that I've been reading and the fact that Texas weather has honestly felt like fall weather which is so surreal you guys know I live in Central Texas and we just never really have fall it's always okay it's summer and the next thing you know, it drops to like 20 degrees we don't have um, fall as a season and I feel like we are getting it so I'm in my cozy loungewear set I think I don't know if this is PJs or if it's loungewear I think it's loungewear this is from Target it's just a cute little tie-dye set basically and as you saw earlier I have my cup of coffee in this cute little mug or saucer that I always drink from so we're definitely having all the cozy vibes I'm gonna start reading this book um also today's a work day so yeah, we have a lot of balancing going on. We're doing this and we're doing work, but it's all gonna be great, fine and dandy. So let's get into it. update for you guys currently i have been reading uh the maidens for about an hour i put on a halloween ambiance video and i feel so cozy you guys i had my cup of coffee i'm probably gonna put on more coffee pretty soon once i wrap up this portion of the video and then yeah just get back into the feels so like i said i've been reading for an hour i'm about to be on chapter 14 which is page 58 so oh my gosh i have done significant damage already so to speak and i'm pretty proud of myself because this book has been so fast paced but the reason why is because 
we have learned about who Mariana is as a person. So like I said, Mariana is a group therapist and her niece Zoe was the roommate of Tara who unfortunately has been murdered on Cambridge, uh, the Cambridge campus basically, so Cambridge University. And in the beginning of this book, we have just kind of unraveled, sorry if you hear Hercules, he's barking at whatever. Um, we've kind of seen Mariana's history unravel, so to speak. So we get to kind of see her as a child and up until now and basically death has just been following her so unfortunately everyone except for Zoe has passed away either by natural circumstances or by tragic accident leaving her and Zoe so to speak alone but we also get to see how their bond has been fortified so one of the main stories that we've seen is Mariana and her late husband Sebastian who unfortunately passed away about 14 months back from uh, drowning in the ocean on a getaway vacation that they were having to help them conceive a child to like kind of riddle away the stress and then hopefully that would bring a family so to speak. Unfortunately he passed away and they didn't get to do that so we kind of see Mariana and her emotions um, being built up up until this point and all the grief and all the loss that she's been experiencing and as we know, she's a therapist, she's a group therapist. So we got to see a little insight into one of her group sessions, specifically with a character named Henry, who just was, he outlashes a lot, but it's because he's had a very tragic childhood, so to speak. And we got to see him and it was very interesting. I don't wanna go into too many details, but we got to see something that was kind of gruesome with him in the very, very beginning. But now we have come to understand that Zoe's roommate Tara has been murdered and Mariana went to go visit Zoe and basically kind of figure out, okay, how do I support Zoe? But also, you know, what's going on with this murder? And the crazy thing is, which is obviously, it's not, this is not a spoiler because we're at the very beginning and this is the synopsis. We find out that Zoe communicated with Tara about a day before this or the nights before the murder happened and Tara was very in a crazy state, so to speak. So she was high on something. She was, you know, in just a state of high alert. And she said to Zoe that, hey, I think someone is going to murder me. I think if I say anything more, he's gonna come for me. And she told Zoe that the person who she thinks is gonna murder her is Edward Fosca, which is a professor um, at Cambridge University. And so Zoe just told Mariana all of this and we are, yeah, we stopped there. So we don't know, <laughs> we don't know yet what's going to happen, but I'm still gonna continue reading. Um, at this point, it is almost lunchtime when I'm giving this update for you guys. So I'm gonna make me a homemade sandwich. That just sounds so appealing right now. I have, I don't know, I have turkey or I have ham. I can't think of which one I want, but I'm super excited for that. Can't wait. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of that. And then of course, we're gonna dive back in to reading. So super excited, you guys. It's giving me all the cozy feels so far. I definitely kind of feel the same with this book as how I did with The Turn of the Key, where I was getting nothing but like spooky, spooky vibes, but also like cozy vibes if that makes sense i i know we had like a little gruesome act in the very beginning of this book with henry but other than that it's been great i definitely have been in the mood so without further ado let's get into the kitchen <music>
I just took a miniature nap. I feel so refreshed. I'm currently making some, well, I'm boiling some water so I can have some Earl Grey tea and just read through some emails. I feel so like relaxed and like so refreshed because after lunch, I literally was like, okay, I have to do a nap or something. So part of my face, especially this side is red because I slept on it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make some tea. I'm gonna still get cozy today. I feel like today is going by so quickly. I feel like time is just literally escaping me is what I'm feeling. I haven't read since the last time I updated you, but I'm about to start. So once my tea is done, I'm just gonna get cozy again and read a little bit, you guys. So yeah. I'm so, oh my god, I need to wake up. I feel, like I feel refreshed, like I feel not tired. I just, you know, after waking up, like your body is trying to get back into the swing of things, so. I apologize for not updating you all yesterday. I did read. I am actually currently halfway through the book. I apologize. My hair is so ridiculous, but I just got out of the shower. Um, yeah, so I've been reading and I have been loving this book so, so much just because of all the coziness that comes with it. So I'm not going to say too many things, but there have been multiple murders now and Mariana is still investigating. She's talking to students. She's talking to Edward Fosca. She's talking to her niece, Zoe, and a bunch of other people that are in the mix of this. And we're slowly getting crumbs and bits of detail here and there. And there are a couple of reasons why this book has just really given me just like all the fall vibes. One, and like I never knew I needed this. Every time she investigates or like she's talking to someone, she takes them to like a quaint little coffee shop or a little comfortable bar that's like super old that's been there for hundreds of years. And I just love it. I can literally picture myself sitting there either working or if I was still an undergrad student, I would totally see myself studying here. Like this is definitely the type of place that like I would want to go to for university if I still had the chance to do undergrad, which you all know that I graduated a couple of years ago, but yeah, it's so cute. It's so quaint and I'm just really loving it. Also, I feel like I'm kind of just like flying through with the narrator because it's so easily digestible, I would say, and I'm not in my head constantly thinking about the ending. In fact, this is like one of the only books, um, maybe even besides The Turn of the Key, that I really haven't been like, you know, figuring out, okay, how many chapters do I have until like this ending or how many pages do I have left? Like, I'm definitely not like that with this book, which is fabulous. So I am still gonna continue reading this. I actually read a little bit this morning and then I took a shower obviously, but it's nearing lunchtime. So I'm thinking of making something for lunch. I don't know if I'm gonna make a sandwich again or maybe just like scour through my fridge and my pantry and like put something together. I really don't know, but nonetheless, I am hungry. And then kind of afterwards, we're just gonna continue diving deep into this book. I really don't have any other plans for today. I mean, besides reading. So I don't know if I'm gonna finish this book today. In a way, I kind of hope I don't because it's so good. I just wanna like savor every single moment basically. And I'm just so happy that I keep, I'm just still in the mood. Like October's reading list has been so far like superb. And yeah, I just really don't wanna let it go. But I have a feeling like depending on how much I read today, I might finish it or honestly, I might hold off until tomorrow. 
I don't know. I still like want these feelings to linger. I'm loving every single character. I'm loving how complex they all are. Like some of them can be like 2D, but those are the ones that are hardly ever mentioned. But we have Zoe, we have Mariana. They're just so full of character and they're so in depth to me personally. And of course, like Edward Fosca and, so, um, and a couple other characters. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna figure out what I want for lunch and then I'll see you then. Okay guys, I just showed you what I'm going to be eating for lunch. I have some pita chips with hummus for a snack, but I have this beautiful arrangement of a homemade uh, sandwich. It's just a ham sandwich with some radishes on the side a dill pickle, some onion, another tomato, and then there's tomato and lettuce and some condiments on the inside, but I'm super excited. I am going to probably watch some YouTube, honestly, kind of relax for my lunch break, and then I'm gonna quickly start this because I definitely wanna get back to this. This is all I can think about, you guys. And yeah, so I'm gonna try and eat lunch quickly, and then, yeah, we'll start on this. Hey folks we are back so i just well i finished a lot of reading but i'm on page 228 so i literally only have a little bit to go i'm probably honestly if i continue how i'm doing i'm gonna finish the book today which is kind of sad because i'm still relatively enjoying this book i still don't know who um or how the murder is going to end up being found i mean obviously we all know that Mariana still thinks it's Edward, but like a lot of things have just been unraveling and I just honestly feel like everyone's a suspect now and I really don't know what's happening. There have been a couple of, I would say like twist a little bit with Edward and a couple other people that I did not see coming at all. So that's pretty spectacular. And currently the reason why I'm like not technically on a new chapter is because I am doing the magical hopathon sprint with Rachel Sarah. She's hosting it right now. And we just finished our first reading sprint. And so now I'm just taking the time to catch up on a few other things and just had some applesauce to be honest. But now we're about to, I think in a couple minutes, we're gonna be starting again. So I just kind of wanted to update you guys. I'm still loving it. I'm still enjoying it. I still think that um, we're gonna have like a great ending towards this. But I have heard though that some people uh, don't really like this book because of the ending and now I'm kind of scared. I haven't looked up anything like on Goodreads. I literally have been avoiding this book like the plague on other booktuber channels. So I really don't know or I, I truly don't want to know like what people's thoughts are until I'm done with this book. So without further ado, that's just pretty much it. That's the only reading update I have for you guys. I'm still feeling cozy. I might make some tea later on. It's not necessarily 3 p.m. yet. I like to have tea typically after three. So you might get a glimpse of that. I'm not too sure, but let's continue reading. <music> I have just finished another reading sprint. We're currently kind of in the middle of, you know, just like everyone updating and talking. And I am so close to finishing my book. I have 21 pages, I believe, until I'm done. So definitely getting this um, over today, which is kind of bittersweet. I have a better understanding or feeling really of who the murderer is going to be, but I'm not understanding the connection between the murder and the students and like what it all means well i kind of do what i kind of don't we just kind of figured out well me i just figured out kind of like who that might be so yeah and i don't i don't know i'm not gonna say anything else i'm still loving the book i'm still enjoying it i really have had a great time with it i love the experience i love our characters it is definitely warm it's definitely cozy um, I mean, obviously some of the murders can be very grotesque, but I do think that this is like a great opening to the spooky vibes, if that makes sense. But right now I'm making some vegetable soup, just like a little bit of it. I'm kind of hungry. It is, actually it's 4.04. 04. 
So we're getting close to the end of the workday. I'm gonna answer some emails, just continue doing that type of stuff, and then probably just read again. And honestly, I feel like I'm gonna finish this book probably by the end of like maybe 5 or 6 p.m. We'll see. And then of course, I'll end the vlog probably then because I don't wanna start another book here because I really wanna get this up ASAP for you guys. And yeah, of course, we'll probably just do another one and we'll just continue vlogging because I do, well, I have been loving it and yeah, so I'm gonna eat something really hungry and then I'll see you later. Well guys, that is a wrap. I finished The Maidens and my head cannot wrap around the plot twist, the major plot twist but that we had at the end. I did not see the murderer like at all. Like wasn't even in my top tier list of people and I'm really stoked about that that made this book honestly four out of five stars I was gonna do five out of five but there are some things like certain elements that I wanted to see more of in this book regarding relationships um, with certain characters but yeah maybe even four and a half stars I I'm definitely gonna read this on Goodreads four out of five but in my head it might be four and a half out of five that's how good this book was I was really frightful when I started hearing that people didn't like this book but and I can kind of see why just because of the plot twist but to me it was honestly like a breath of fresh air I thought it was brilliant honestly and it was kind of spooky I mean it was like crazy spooky so yeah definitely a top tier book for me this year I have to admit that that is crazy to think about this book was so awesome i'm definitely going to read more books by alex michaelides i know he did the silent patient and again that one is very controversial but i do know that that's a very popular book so yeah you guys i'm gonna put this in my area where i keep all my red books and then we're gonna pick something in another vlog probably of something else that's on my october tbr i believe i have a few more books still that i have to read before the end of this um month and i'm quite shocked that i finished this literally probably within like what a 24 hour period honestly because i started this yesterday it just amazes me i amaze myself so yeah you guys without further ado i'm going to stop rambling i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe as always i'll have all my social media links down below so feel free to follow me on other platforms but yeah guys i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye guys